the key thing that we're looking at here is with buffer overflows, I would say a couple of things that you run into that are a little tricky. Source sending 2006 A's, the jump ESP address, which is four bytes, and then what's left is the CCs. We're gonna call that the placeholder for malicious code. Now, traditionally, uh, we call this shell code because this code executed a command shell on the victim machine. Today, people call it a malware payload because it might do more than open up a shell. It might download and execute a file. It might add a user account or something like that. Got this, let's go ahead, let's attach. There's one server. Hit play two times. So a lot of attached to it, I would say the craziest thing that a lot of people run into is this right here. Okay, and that's what we want to see. So as soon as we jumped into it, as we jump down in here, we have landed in all software breakpoints. M3s are all software breakpoints. So what we did was we changed. So as I came into it, there's my jump ESP, and then I immediately land in my M3s. Looks good. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this out. A really good blog on finding bad characters. So I'm just gonna take that string. I'm gonna change out this exploit. Just call that sucker bad characters. I'll get rid of this XX right there. There we go. So now what I'm doing is I'm sending every character from 00, zero up through this application. So 00, zero all the way to FF, and I'm gonna send this through the application. So what I'm saying, I wanna know how does the application behave, it means I want to look for these bad characters. If you look down in here, you see that it starts with 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04. Then right below that, 0, 05, 0, 06, 0, 07, 0, 08. Okay, 0, 09, 0, A, 0, B, 0, C, 0, D. Then it's like 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. You see these going? So what you're seeing is your characters are making it all the way through. If these characters make it all the way through, the goal is to get it all the way down to where you see EF, FF, and there it is, EF, FF. So all these characters made it all the way through. The reason that you wanna do that is when you're trying to build shell code, you have to be able to build shell code where you've gotten rid of bad characters. Maybe the application thinks of one of these characters as like a field delimiter. So you've got to be able to remove that. So a lot of times, so we go, we look at some exploit code and we'll start to see that as people are using this exploit code, when they generate, they specify which bad characters. So you notice when I built mine, I removed zero, zero. But 0A and 0D were not considered bad characters for this application. So you manually remove each bad character. So I would say that's the first thing. I would say the next thing that people really need to be able to do I would say the next thing that people really need to be able to do is people really need to be able to figure out their space for shell code. So if you're in a situation where you're writing an exploit and I send this exploit and right here it comes into ESP, 
I want to save that address. Then I want to scroll down until I stop seeing my C's. And I want this address. So what you want to do is you want to subtract the top of ESP from the bottom of ESP. So you'll go bottom of ESP minus top of ESP equals length of shellcode. So you're going to take this number minus that number equals. So you pop open a calculator. And as I pop open this calculator, I'm going to throw the calculator on programmer. Put this in hexadecimal. E0 equals 3D4. Then it converted to decimal 980. Okay. So this lets me know how much space that I have for shellcode. So sometimes what you'll do is you'll run into some really cool shellcode. You can find some really cool shellcode, like there's this Ali shellcode. And like if you take a look at it, this shellcode adds an administrative user, adds the user to the RDP group, enables remote desktop, stops the firewall, starts the term server service. But if you look at it, it's 1200 bytes. So the problem with this shell code is you really can't use it unless your application allows for that many bytes. If you send 1500 bytes and it doesn't make it all the way through, then you start realizing, okay, this just isn't going to work for me because I can't, I can't populate the exploit with that much shell code. Thank you.